The Carolina Beach was under a state of emergency today. The storm dumped more than 18 inches of rain with tropical storm force winds. Rising floodwaters submerged streets, prompted water rescues, and flooded homes. WR's Aaron Thomas is live at Carolina Beach tonight, where residents are cleaning up. Aaron, how much has the water receded now? Here we are at 10 o'clock tonight. Well, Gerald, tonight at 10, we have seen some of that water recede on the roadway, but barricades are still uh, put up at the moment, but you can see right here a lot of this we're currently standing in what is people's front yard or backyard. Now many of the homeowners that we spoke with, they say that they know the risk involved when you purchase property near the coast, especially during hurricane season. But seeing this much water fall in a short amount of time is definitely something they were not prepared for. The charm of Carolina Beach transformed into a coastal crisis. This came real fast. I mean, it came hard and it came fast. Fast moving waters rushed inside Michael and Vicki Barr's garage. Both waded through inches of water, moving personal belongings to higher ground. I went through like eight sets of clothes because I'd come down here and they would just be drenched. The flooding was so severe at Carolina Beach Elementary School, they had to close while several other schools in the area dismissed early. This coastal system made for a hectic day along much of the North Carolina coast. Rushing waters caused havoc in Curry Beach, roads underwater for miles. And we were trying to leave this morning and we, uh, it was raining so hard and flooding so fast that we couldn't get out of town. A weekend getaway turned into an extended stay for David Barada and his wife. Despite the aftermath, this community is making the most of a historic weather event. Oh, we just had some local flooding. The kids got out of school early, which they thought was a blast for them. And where we're at, everything's okay. It's a thousand year storm. We're done. <laughs> yeah, we won't see another one in our lifetime. Hopefully in our next yeah. 10 lifetimes. Yeah. And there you have it. A lot of people really just trying to find the silver lining in all of this. In fact, uh, the folks that you just heard from, they were saying how many possessions they can be replaced. They're just thankful that no one was hurt in this storm. Aaron Thomas, WRL News, live in Carolina Beach.